Come in. Would you like to sit? They're on their way. Did you bring a watch? Yes. We need to get back on time. How far out these people live? Okay. The land is good. Good, but too lonely. Four hours journey and we hardly saw a house or a tree. Well, we're in a drought. Your father would have covered the land in trees. Without water? He would have found it. During our three years together, he planted ten cherry trees, three walnuts at the mill, an entire vineyard, and a plant with fleshy flowers called uh, Jupiter. But it dried up. She must be getting dressed. Senor! Did you only take long? Four hours. Well, you must have come a long way. I'm too old to travel along the river terrace. She gets giddy. A good, a good crop of hay. Absolutely. <laughs> In my day, this land wouldn't grow a thing. I had to flog it mercilessly uh, until it would produce anything profitable. But now it does. You have no complaints. Mm -hmm. I have not come to ask anything of you. <coughs> Richer than I am, the vines are worth a fortune. Every tendril is a silver coin. What I'm thinking is it's a, it's a pity that uh, our holdings are so separated. But don't ask me to choose between them. I, I wouldn't sell this for all the, all the gold in the world. <laughs> this sort of thing always happens. If only we could get a, a bullet team to drag the vines over here. What joy. What for? Well, mine is hers, yours is his. We could see everything together. Such a, a union is a beautiful thing. When I am dead, you can sell there and buy something new. Sell? Sell? Yeah. Buy, my dear. Buy it all. If I had sons, I'd have bought all this mountain right down to the stream. It isn't good land, but with hard work it could be made good. And since no one passes by to steal the fruit, you can sleep peacefully at night. You know why I am here? Yes. And? Well, it's fine by me. They've already spoken. My son has what it takes and will give it his all. My daughter also. He is a lovely boy. He has not been with a woman. His honour is as pure <laughs> as a white sheet drying in the sun. I can say the same for her. She uh, prays for the morning star. She, she's quiet and soft as wool. She can embroider whatever. And <laughs> she's got a rope with her teeth. <laughs> God bless your house. And that God bless you. When do you want the wedding? Uh, next Thursday. It'll be her 22nd birthday. 22? That would be the age of my oldest son if he had lived. He could have lived strong and macho if men hadn't invented stilettos. You mustn't think of this. Every minute. Put your hand over your heart. Thursday, then. Is that all? That's it. The young couple and you and I will go by coach to the church, which is quite far. The rest of the party can follow by... Uh, Cards of my horse. Agreed. Tell her to come in. It'll make me happy if you like her. Come closer. Are you happy? Yes, Signora. Don't be so serious. But when it's all said and done, she'll be your mother. I am happy. When I said yes, it was because I wanted to. Yeah, true. Look at me. She's the image of my wife. Ah, uh, yes, how lovely to see. Do you know what it is to be married, my dear? I know. A man, some children, and a wall two yards thick to keep the rest out. <clears throat> 
Haven't you left something out? No. Oh, uh, that all live happily ever after. That's it. Long live everyone. I will know how to fulfill my side. Yeah, we have some presents. Thank you. Would you, would you have some? No, not for me. And you? Ah, yes. Why? He doesn't drink. Oh, even better. I will come tomorrow. At what time? At five. I'll expect you. You know, when I'm around you, I, I feel almost unraveled and there's this lump in my throat. When you're my husband, you won't feel that. That's what I say. Let's go. The sun doesn't wait. We are agreed on all things? We are. Goodbye, my dear. Go with God. Goodbye, daughter. I'll go with you. Until tomorrow. Well, birthday to see the presents. Stop. Oh, well, come on, child, show me them. I don't want to. But at least they're stuck. They say they are totally woven. Come I on. said no. Oh, good God. You act as though you don't want to be married. I... Oh, baby. Little one, what's wrong? Oh, you don't want to lead this life of a princess. Oh, don't upset yourself. Well, what reason would you have? None. Come on, we're going to look at the gifts. Let go. Oh, come on, go. I said leave it. Oh, you're stronger than a man. Well, haven't I done a man's work? Oh, then go away. Talk to Shut up. Let's talk about something else. Were you aware of a horse last night? At three? It could have been a horse that got loose from the herd. No, it had a rider. How do you know? Because I saw him. I was sitting at the window, it gave me a shock. It wasn't my fiancé. Sometimes he comes by at that time. No. Well, did you see him? Yes. Who was it? It was Leonardo. Liar! What would he come here for? He came. Shut up! Curse your tongue! Ah. Look! Get up here and look! Was it him? Yes. It was.